Hey everybody, Chris Engelbert with Engelbert Financial Advisors on Friday, December 4th. Yes, we are back. We were in the great state of Wisconsin for Wisconsin deer hunting the last 10 days, but don't worry, we did not test positive. Uh, we drove there and we drove right back, so everybody's fine. I wanted to use today to give you our 2021 outlook and update. Uh, obviously, the month of November has been extremely good in the stock market, and if you follow any of our videos uh, or any of the messages that we publish, uh, we were saying back in September and October that any pullback in the U.S. stock markets had to be bought, and sure enough, we had a big rally. $800 billion came into the U.S. equity markets in the mo month of November, and we saw the S&P 500 hit an all-time high, up 10% for just the month of November alone. The Nasdaq's hit an all-time high. The Russell 2000s is hit an all-time high, so everything's doing very well. But we want to talk about 2021 and what we think is going to happen. And you can see by my whiteboard that uh, we think interest rates stay low the first half of the year. Interest rates, obviously, last spring, when everything got locked down, crashed below 1% on the 10-year Treasury, and they've been hovering between a half a percent and 0.8%. Now, we think that continues for probably the first half of 2021. The reason being is that corporations are going to start pushing out any kind of earnings recovery until well into 2022, because obviously over this winter, we're going through another mini lockdown again, and investors could be afraid of another second leg down in a recession or, or a earnings recession. However, there are signs of inflation everywhere, and inflation is a killer for bondholders. And we think that the back half of the year, interest rates end up zooming. Right now, the 10-year treasury is around 0.8%. You could see interest rates easily go back on the 10-year to 2 2.5% by the end of the year as the economy kicks into high gear and investors realize there's inflation out there. Now, the work-from-home trade or the work-from-anywhere trade is kind of long in the tooth, but it could have more to run because obviously people are going to be sequestered in their homes for probably the next three to six months, and companies are not anxious to get employees back into their office buildings just yet. However, one of the things that we see is that we see a rotation from growth to value. Now, we keep track of these statistics all the time, and beginning August 1st, we started to see value stocks do that much better than growth stocks, and value stocks tend to be stocks that pay a high dividend. They tend to be the financials like the banks. They tend to be the energy companies. The energy companies are booming because the price of oil has gone up due to a weak U.S. dollar. So we see a play there. And what ends up happening is that people are going to be looking for income in this era of low interest rates. Now, another interesting note is that many of the value stocks or dividend paying companies are actually using technology to bring more profits to their bottom line. We think it's ironic that the large cap growth stocks have been the biggest beneficiaries, but uh, technology is trickling down even to the value, i.e. dividend paying stocks. Now, the other big thing we, theme we see next year is the revenge vacation trade, or what we call the beach trade. And people say, hey, what's the beach trade? Now, if you remember, Wall Street loves the acronyms. Uh, we used to have the acronym, or we still do, for FANG stocks, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, NVIDIA, and Google. Those have been the big front runners literally about the last six to seven years. Well, now we're looking at the beach stocks, and you can see those are companies that do bookings, entertainment, live events, airlines, cruises, casinos, especially uh, uh, mobile casino gambling, as well as hotels and resorts. So one of our themes is that we think this area is going to have a huge recovery because we see something that we call the revenge vacation, where people have been literally uh, locked down for the last year, maybe even 14 months, and they're going to go on vacation next year, and they're going to go on it with a vengeance. So having said that, that's our update for Friday, December 4th. We'll be back next week. We'll keep updating you. And as always, we are in the office. So if you want to chat with us, give us a call at any time. We'll talk to you soon and have a great weekend.